Hey guys, it's the GameGate15 here, and I've just seen Nintendo's E3 conference for 2012. And just to start off by saying uh, the console actually is in black and white, and they demonstrate a lot of the black console in the conference more than the white. Black console does look pretty cool. Uh, I think it's probably because it does look a bit more sleeker and a bit more uh, high quality, in a sense, than the, in the, the white one, you know. Um, anyway. Miyamoto came up on the stage to start off, and he should demonstrate something, because I'm not a big Nintendo person, called Pim Pikmin 3, and um, they're like little ant little things that you can control, and they build bridges, and, you know, make towers, and stuff like this, and it's, it's you know, it's a cool little uh, little game, it kind of, it reminds me of a mini game than anything else, and, um, you can control them throughout the land, and uh, they've announced new creatures called um, rock Pikmin, and basically they can um, destroy barriers and walls and bring them down and stuff, whereas the Pikmin will carry things to make bridges, to cross rivers and stuff like that. Um, demonstrated with a gamepad that you can use your finger on the touch screen to kind of tap and uh, to get it, you know, to the order of the Pikmin to do things, and you can see like a more um, above kind of view rather than a, a camera following them, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, they moved on then uh, talk about uh, the services and the services coming on Wii U and uh, there's only three so far announced and that's Netflix, Hulu and YouTube. Cool to see that, you know, Netflix and Hulu, some uh, Netflix and YouTube are some of the, the big uh, big guys out there and to see that on the Wii U uh, really does mean that, you know, they're also pushing the entertainment side of things and not only the gaming. Uh, moving on, uh, they were talking about the me verse thing in the pre-conference and saying how it completely interacts throughout the whole Wii U experience. They're also saying that um, if you have like a PC or a smartphone or a tablet, you'll be also be able to get uh, Miu, Mi, Miiverse, sorry, on that as well. So you, you know you, you're going to be uh, in the Nintendo world if you're a big fan of it, of course, uh, on any device, whether you're out and about or whether you're actually at home playing the Wii U itself. That's pretty cool. It's nice to see more social elements as uh, you know. Is, you know, everyone's using Twitter, everyone's using Facebook, you know, social is a big part of everyone's lives. So Nintendo trying to keep you in the family and keep you uh, talking about their games and keep you interacting by bringing uh, Miiverse onto other platforms. Moved on then, they talked about new Super Mario Brothers U. Obviously not a big surprise uh, when Nintendo brings out a new console, they tend to bring out uh, Super Mario Brothers right for that. Um, it looks like the classic uh, Super Mario Brothers just with the HD kind of remake for the U, and for and it basically uh, some new game modes. Um, obviously, it's they're pushing the aspect that if you can't play on the TV, it's one of the games that you will be able to play on the tablet. Um, I don't know the way they kind of say it, it might mean that some games, maybe like Call of Duty, you might not be able to play on the tablet, or I might be completely wrong, and it might just be every single game that once the TV's not on, it knows, and it puts them to the game tablet, but they are saying, you know, you'll be able to play it on the, on the game tablet itself, which is pretty cool, you know, if someone else is watching the TV. Um, there's not much to say about New Super Mario Bros., because it really is like the Super Mario Bros. you used to, just with a kind of a, a 2012 remake, in a sense. Um, uh, Batman Arkham City, uh, Warner Brothers Games came on and talked about that. Uh, it's called Armored Edition this time though, with just for the Wii U, and it's they're making full use of the game pad where you can have like boomerangs, you can uh, select them from the inventory on the game pad and then throw them, and you can then kind of use the, 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 the motion side of the game pad to kind of direct them, and it shows you like a little camera thing on screen until you hit the thing you're supposed to hit. Pretty cool, trying to show you how they can interact the game pad into the full gameplay element of that. Um, they then went on to talk about Scribble Knots because obviously Warner Brothers are guys that make them. They're bringing Scri Scribble Knots to the Wii U and to the 3DS as well. And on the Wii U, you can you know you can uh, use the pen and draw things, and then they'll be pushed into the game. Also pushing again the social element of it. You can uh, show your friends anything you've drawn. You can share it with the community, and uh, yeah, get creative. Now they then moved on uh, to a more Nintendo uh, big title which is the Wii Fit. Now, the Wii Fit apparently has sold 43 million copies, which is quite a lot, you know, to be fair. And uh, they showed some videos of it, showed how it's going to change for the Wii U. There's a new uh, pedometer accessory, and if you don't know what pedometer is, it's basically a thing you clip on to, like, your trousers, and when you go out running or jogging or walking, it counts how many steps you've done. Then that will, uh, basically, they demonstrate, you put that up to, like, the gamepad, and then it's all the data then gets sent over to the gamepad, which is 
in turn get sent over to the wheat system and then it, it'll, it'll basically say this is how many calories that works out and it adds it onto your uh, onto your thing with the older we fit stuff it was more that you know you put in how many minutes you'd been running and it would kind of figure out but with this you know no cheating how many steps you've done is uh, how many gets counted on there which is pretty cool also again yet again pushing the game pad how that works is the fact that you know if someone else is watching on tv you can ask you can you, know, you can jump on the board and do your exercises or you can jump on the board check how much weight you've put on or lost and you know uh, put any additional information in so that's pretty cool obviously that it's going to feature new um uh, new exercises new game modes you know fun game modes as they do on the wii u like guess you know snowboarding and stuff like that um also, um, just uh, as uh, anyone that's already got the Wii Fit stuff, if you've already got a Wii Fit board, that's going to be completely compatible compatible apparently on uh, the new game. So that's cool. You don't have to go out and buy anything new. You just buy the new game, put it in uh, the Wii U, and you're yeah, ready to go. Uh, now, they talked to the guys Freestyle Games, which make DJ Hero, and they are making uh, a Sing game. It's called Sing for the Wii U system. And uh, really all they went on to say about is that you could use the, the gamepad as a kind of like lyrics screen, it's like a prompt for the lyrics, and you can kind of hold it and sing, and rather than having to stare at the TV, you can stare out at the party, if you're at a party, group of friends or whatever, keeping the social element going, rather than you know, you're just standing there staring at a screen and people behind you just carrying on with the normal stuff, trying to show that you can get involved, but that's really all about the dem demos right there. They then took a section out of the conference store about 3DS. They didn't talk a lot about it because it's a separate thing on e3.nintendo.com, which tomorrow, I'm not sure, it's about it's 6 o'clock um, over there Pacific time. I'm not sure it is in, in Britain. I haven't quite worked it out. It probably will be about 2 o'clock in the morning here. So it's not going to be great for us, but you can go on Nintendo, e3.nintendo.com and have a look at uh, their Nintendo small presentation for the 3DS. Uh, they did mention a couple of things. Um, New Super P New Super Paper Mario Brothers 2 is coming out for the 3DS. Uh, features new stickers, which basically you can collect throughout the world, and they then become power-ups against enemies. And apart from that, you know, obviously it's been remade, new features, new games, and stuff like that. But the main thing is really with stickers, that's all they've showed us. They showed us a bit of gameplay, it looked pretty cool. Um, not a 3DS owner myself. Uh, I still got the, the DS still didn't really see the need to, to buy the 3DS to be completely honest. I understand people have them and if I had like loads of money and you know I probably end up having one but it, I just don't see the see it being worth spending the money on at the minute. Um, Luigi Mansion is the the second thing that they said that's coming to the 3DS. Um, obviously they had a big cheer about that. Luigi Mansion obviously on, on the older Nintendo systems very popular and see that coming on the 3DS would be pretty cool. Um, you have to use different capturing techniques throughout the game to try and complete it. Different ghosts won't necessarily be captured in the same way. You've got to figure out how these ghosts can be captured and work your way through uh, like that. That's basically all they said on that. Uh, the the uh, Paper Mario Brothers will be released on the 19th of August and Luigi Mansion will be released um, in the holiday season, the festive period. That's uh, you know Christmas probably. Um, right, back to Wii U. Uh, Lego City has been announced for the Wii U, and the best way to describe it is like GTA, but with Lego. It does look pretty awesome, I have to say. I was watching, I was like, you know, the demo little kids. This is a game for little kids, but, like, but I want to play, you know? I want to play this game. This looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, threw in some catchphrases, you know, the way Lego make things uh, quite funny. And I really actually want to go and play that game right now. Hopefully it's at Eurogamer 2012. I can give that, you know, a proper go because it sounds pretty awesome. But, you know, I'm that alone. I can't just buy the Wii U for that alone. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm not convinced quite quite yet either way on the Wii. I don't know what I'll do. But um, really looks really cool. Definitely a cool game. And I'm glad that they showed it because it was another good point for buying the Wii U for that game alone. Um, Ubisoft then hit the stage. They basically came on to every single uh, conference <laughs> as well as their own. And uh, they showed Just Dance 4 and showed how that can be uh, different on the Wii U uh, to any other dance game. And they said that um, 
the dancers obviously have the normal Wii controllers, they can dance, and then you have, can have someone else on the gamepad that actually controls what dances they have to do next, and it can really mix things up rather than having the same dance routine on the same track every single time. You can have someone just mixing things around, making things a little bit more difficult and hopefully more fun and entertaining. So that's pretty cool, uh, that's all that's really to do with a, a, a dance, let's dance four, just dance four, sorry. As you can tell, I'm tired and I'm trying to get through all these stuff, but if I keep messing things up, I do apologize. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, about all, you know, that's all that comes to that. Uh, it brings new features, and as you know, Just Dance 4 is uh, an exclusive just for the Wii U. Uh, Ubisoft stayed on stage. They showed more from uh, Zombie U, which they did demo last night on uh, the Ubisoft conference. It looks freaking awesome, I have to say. Uh, it's based in London, for you guys who didn't know, and they showed a bit in the tube station. And you you can use the gamepad for things like your inventory, for things like snipering, thing for uh, melee combat, um, scanning your area, so you can just move it around and scan everything around you. Really, really cool, uh, the zombie side of stuff. You have your inventory, and then you can slide it. Like you may have a shotgun stored in like a backpack, whatever, you can slide it up onto like your uh, hot bar in a sense and you then can have the shotgun and you can kill them it looks really awesome i can't wait to, to actually get my hands and play that it's something i'm really excited about and it's a nature for ubisoft to get me excited about anything but this they have definitely have done well with that now coming up to the last thing uh, nintendo uh own game nintendo land and basically nintendo land as you may have guessed is a collection of nintendo games mini games really uh, in a whole open world that looks like a fun fair, and you can go around and play these mini games. Probably more of a party kind of side of thing. Uh, a lot of them they're showing are more multiplayer games. I don't see it's really something you're going to have much fun doing on your own. Um, some of the stuff they mentioned, there's going to be more, uh, more mini games. But what they've mentioned so far is things like Zelda, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, Donkey Kong, and uh, they showed some of them. Luigi's Mansion looked pretty cool. Um, you, you go around and you, you have to try and shine your torch on uh, the, the ghosts to try and weaken them and in turn get rid of that one ghost. But uh, the more you shine your torch, the your battery to uh, the battery in your torch wears down until you haven't got any. Um, if you get attacked by it, then you kind of faint. And then your teammates can um, revive you by shining the torch on you for a period of time. But obviously that drains their battery. So yeah, you know, if you die, you have a, if one of you faints, you've got a consequence on the rest of your team. Trying to push the team, you know, party game kind of element, and that's pretty cool. And that is literally all they showed at the main conference. Um, when it comes to Wii, Wii U sort of things, I think they've convinced me more towards the Wii U after this conference than I was before going into it. Um, I'm not going in as a Nintendo fan, but I'm going in as a gamer in general. So, you know, I'm looking at things from the outside, you know, I know... There's going to be you Nintendo fans out there that really liked what you saw, and you've probably been being brought up on the whole uh, Nintendo series. So you're kind of, you know, I mean, really excited about seeing another game that's, you know, Super Mario Brothers or like this. For me, from the outside, I'm trying to look things a bit differently and trying to look how I can be brought into the into the into the series, into the franchise, and uh, trying to adopt the Wii U. But there are some really uh, really good games in there. There's some really hardcore games. There's a mix of family games, party games singing games, fitness games, and it, you know, pretty cool. Um, out of all the fitness games, the Wii Fit has been the one I have used the most, and it's actually the only reason I use my Wii. It's downstairs, I occasionally use it for Wii Fit, and when it comes to fitness, I think that is one of the best fitness games, Wii Fit, and it has shown 43 million units. So, overall, there's some really cool things in there that I've seen, and uh, Ubisoft has done a good job of bringing uh, some exclusive titles to the Wii U, and I look forward to seeing more about it in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you do want to see, um, I've got one final video coming up in the future where I'll be just be going over everything as a, an overall, like the best things that I've found and then going over those kind of things. So if you do want to see more from me in general, that'll probably be over a gaming uh, video like Call of Duty or something. Uh, hit the subscribe button up above to watch more videos from me. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And uh, if you want to say anything about this conference, any of your thoughts, anything you on me saying your opinion anything like that pop a comment below and i'll try to respond as many as i can i am just really busy at the minute i've been working non-stop for over uh, 24 hours so you have to bear with me i haven't got a lot of sleep but anyway thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in another video very very soon goodbye